Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Save the Good Girl podcast, the SOE edition. I'm your host, Erica. SOE, if you are new, welcome. This is about to be your favorite spot. Just saying. SOE stands for Shot of Erica. Consider it like a shot of an espresso, shot of green juice, shot of tequila. But this is a shot for the soul. A shot for your mind, a shot for your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Because over here we talk. It's like a coffee shop feel. That's what I like to give here. And do you know how powerful you are? Do you know the amount of influence you have? Do you know how many people are looking up to you right now? Many people don't know how powerful they are. And to make a true change in the world, we need to know how to change ourselves, but we also need to know the power that we intrinsically have. Let's talk about it. We will get back to this fabulous episode, but I just wanted to let you know that you can find Save the Good Girl on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. There is also a chance for you to be featured on the show. Check out the link in the description to send me a voice message. In addition to the podcast, did you know that Save the Good Girl has a blog? Be a part of VIP by subscribing to the email list on savethegoodgirl.com. So many options to stay connected. All right, let's get back to the episode. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, wow, I'm powerful? Maybe, maybe not. I don't believe a lot of people understand how powerful they are. And I don't believe many people understand how important it is for you to continue to keep fighting in whatever battle you are in. Because when you win that battle, not if, but when you win that battle, you will become a testimony and help someone else. You do not have to be a celebrity. You do not have to be an activist. You do not have to be somebody on the front line for you to make an influence in someone's life. You are influencing someone right now. It's just really interesting how we have all of these ways of communicating. And if you just think about, let's say, social media, like I literally would tell one person one thing and I would tell the next person and the next person and the next person. And that's how word of mouth spreads. Like word of mouth is still the number one way to market a product. It's getting people to talk about it, getting people to buzz about it, and eventually, you know, putting this on their page, spreading the word on their own. And then the companies make more money because you, you're you happy with whatever service that you get. We have a lot of power within us and we have a lot of power to influence a lot of people, but we have to continue to do our work. We have to continue to fight our demons. We have to continue to acknowledge our growth. We have to continue to acknowledge our past. We have to continue to clean our past in terms of like cleaning how we feel about it. I like, I can't take away what has happened in the past in my life. I can't do that. I can't take away the people that have hurt me. I can't take away the things that have occurred that I wish never occurred. I can't take those things away because it happened because it happened. But what I can do is continue to be triumphant. And being triumphant doesn't mean that you're not going to cry. Being triumphant doesn't mean that you're not going to have moments of feeling weak. Being triumphant does not mean that you're not going to be confused, alone, scared, anxious, worried, concerned, nervous, or even feel like giving up. All of these qualities makes you the most capable person to be the person to deliver the right message. Being an expert really means that you have failed many times because you have failed many times you now have the right recipe to solve this particular problem because you've done it a couple of times. You know the alternatives, so you know exactly what could or could not happen. That's what that means. When people are, you know, think about it like a chef. When a chef is in a restaurant and he's trying to craft the perfect recipe for bread, for example, or a croissant, There's a particular way to stir it. There's a particular way to bake it. There's a particular way to roll it. So after a couple of times, this is when they have finally mastered that skill. You are the master of your life. 
you influence people more than you think. I, I always say, I don't know who I'm going to touch because I don't. But then again, I do because I get messages sometimes. And again, guys, if you're listening and you find value, let me know. I would love to hear it. Um, but I do get responses from friends and family and for other people that listen to the podcast and they tell me certain things that they hear that they like and you know they're like wow this line really resonated with me or this episode really resonated with me or this blog post really resonated with me and prior to me starting I was very scared I I didn't want to start I just didn't know what direction I wanted to go in I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do so I really had to do my work and figure myself out And because of me doing that, now I'm able to push this information out to others who find value in it and who actually enjoy it and who are listening. I'm so grateful that when I post an episode, somebody's always listening. The minute that I post, I get views immediately. And I don't take that lightly. I don't. Like I, for someone who was so scared to seeing people listen and continue to go back I'm grateful I said when I made the podcast even if one person listen I am going to be grateful you have to continue to keep pushing this is the way that we are going to change the world in order to have the game changers and people who really change the world we need everybody in every sector we need the activists we need the political people We need, you know, the nurses and the doctors and the lawyers. We need all of that. We need all of that. But we also need you to keep fighting. We also need you to overcome whatever you need to overcome. We also need you to push yourself. We also need you not to be afraid. We also need you to go to therapy if you need to. We also need you to ask for help if necessary. We also need you to focus on self-care. We also need you to take your time right with the process you know this year one of my goals is to manifest and manifestation I know exactly how to do it because I've done it before and it worked however manifestation is very challenging when you don't believe so this is something that I'm pushing to do because it's necessary for me to do it for myself but you have to realize this life it's not about you it's not about your success your you know, marriage or your career or your business venture or you doing this, me, 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 me. That's the misconception. This has nothing to do with you. You are here to help other people. That's the purpose of life. You are not here just for you. You are here to leave a legacy because we're here for a short period of time. And you are here to leave your legacy and everything that you're doing. I don't care if you are an accountant and you work behind the scenes. I don't care if you work for an office and go home. I don't care what you do. I think people like to categorize their professions uh, and and let let that dictate who they are. Oh, I'm just this or I'm just that. No, you are influential. The minute you open your mouth, you are influential and you need to look at it like that. An influencer is not just a celebrity. We all are influencers. And the way that we're going to change the world, the way that we're going to challenge the status quo, the way that we're going to continue to rise above, the way that we're going to see a better future is for us to do the work. And it's a lot of emotional work. And it's not going to be easy. It's not. I'm telling you right now, it is not going to be easy. But you have to push yourself. Because somebody else is going to need your voice. Somebody else is going to go through what you have been through. And because you have successfully completed this life course, you can then tell them accurately, hey, I've been there. This is what I did. It, it You know, I, I, I was in a space where... I talked about insecurities and I have an episode about insecurities. And if you haven't, you should definitely check that out. And in my insecurities episode, I've been through a lot with my insecurities. So I'm able to share that like easily because I've been through it. And insecurities is something that you still battle, even when, even if you have overcome that. You never hear people talk about this person had a great story, they had a great life, and and everything was just great, and then boom, that's it. 
No, people like to see the underdog win. People like to hear the struggle because we all struggle in many different ways. People like to hear and see the story. Be the success that you know you can be. You have a lot of power. And today I wanted to remind you about the power that you have. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what happened in your past. I don't care the mistakes you've made. I don't care who said this or who said that. Today is a new day. Wipe it clean. You have the power to really influence and manage. When I say manage, I mean manage what you say to others. We are very powerful. And as a group, as a people, I need you to continue to keep pushing. I need you to continue to challenge yourself. Investigate what's really going on. Why are you lashing out? Why are you so emotional? Why are you so angry? What else do you need to do to really push yourself and improve yourself? How can you improve you? Because when you improve you, then you can improve others. So temporarily, it is about you. Temporarily, it is about you. But long term, it's not. And what you do with your time will dictate how you can help everybody else. Because again, I've learned that this life has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. So I'm challenging you to understand the magnitude of your power. How how your light is shining even when you are down. Do not let your past, do not let life, do not let discouragements get to you. They get to me too. They get to me as well. I'm not always positive. I overthink. I also get anxiety. I get nervous. But then when I talk to people and they tell me like, wow, your words really touched me. That means a lot. And that actually encourages me to continue to do my work because I'm not done. There's so many things that I want. And there's so many things that I want to do with Save the Good Girl. There's so many ideas that I have to push out. I just want to really continue and keep going. So I can't stop fighting. I allow myself to feel the feelings. I allow myself to be down or sad. I allow myself to have a moment because we need that. But you are powerful. And I'm going to remind you this over and over and over again, that you are powerful. I don't care where you are in your life. I don't care if you are unemployed, employed, married, divorced, widowed, three kids, five kids, 10 kids, no kids, single, in a relationship. I don't care. Past drug addict, past alcoholic, past domestic abuse. I don't care. Whatever it is, you have the power to overcome. Your story is valuable. Even if it's one person, you don't need an audience. That's another thing people have to understand. You do not need an audience. I am inspired by every friend that I have. Everybody has said something to me that really pushes me, that really elevates me. They say that it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to raise an adult. (laughs) And that's the truth. It takes a village to groom an adult. It takes a village to nourish an adult. We are not not by ourselves. And I wanted to leave you with that thought that you are more powerful than you think. People are watching you more than you think they are. Continue to do your work. Continue to add value to this world. Continue to understand that it is only about you temporarily. Long term, you are here to help others. And the way that we're going to change the world is if we only change ourselves first. I hope you guys found value in this episode. If you did, as usual, please share it with your friends with your family and whoever needs to know that they are powerful, that they are valuable, that they are worthy and that they are enough. Please share this with them because we need more people to see it this way. And I think if more people see it this way, it would help eliminate a lot of issues that we currently have right now in the world. 
I always look forward to speaking with you always. You guys, you can reach me in so many different ways. I will definitely let you know how in the next clip, but I cannot wait to talk to you again next week. And remember, you are powerful and you are valuable. I feel like we're connecting, so let's make sure we're connected. You can find Save the Good Girl on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Did you know about the Save the Good Girl blog? Yes, there is a blog. Check out savethegoodgirl.com to subscribe to the fabulous VIP email list and be the first to know about new podcast episodes, new blog posts, and giveaways. In addition to listening to Save the Good Girl on many platforms like Apple, Google, Spotify, and many more, you can also subscribe to the Save the Good Girl YouTube channel if YouTube is more of your thing. There are so many options to stay connected and be a part of the Save the Good Girl community. For all updates, or if you just want to contact me to say hello, ask me a question, or send me a comment, check out the contact section on savethegoodgirl.com.